it's Penny and the Professor. Here's Penny. Hi, everybody. Penny and I are here today to read to you a monster story called Welcome to Monster Town. Did you ever wonder where all of the monsters live? I did, so I bought the book, Monster Town, so I could see where they're all living. So Monster Town is written by Ryan Heshka, and it starts with a title page, just like all the books that we've read, that says, Welcome to Monster Town by Ryan Heshka. Here we go. The sun sets on Monster Town and the city wakes up. Hmm, that's interesting. We've been learning about bats in our class and bats are nocturnal. And when the sun sets, the bats wake up. And so that's cool. These monsters wake up the same time the bats do. I wonder if monsters are nocturnal. What do you think, Penny? Yeah, we think maybe monsters might, need, might be nocturnal. Let's see. The zombies are on their way to work. Ooh, look at them walking all around. And they're saying, hi, Roy. Hi, Richard. And there's there's a little um, bus there called the ghoul bus, like school bus. Get it? Ghoul bus. That's pretty cool. The ghost writers cover the news. And you can see that they're writing all of their um, news for the newspaper, letting everybody know what's happening in Monster Town. Professor Igor teaches science at Ghoul School. So here's some cool science for the monsters in Monster Town. Looks like they're learning a lot. Oh yeah, look at that. Postmaster Skeleton delivers the monster mail. He's having a little trouble with the dogs being all made out of bones. Maybe he should think about getting a different job. The vampire bats work at the blood bank. <laughs> well, that makes sense, I suppose. The blood bank. <laughs> oh, Dr. Cyclops is the resident eye doctor. That makes sense because, you know, he's got one big eye. Resident eye doctor. Um, oh, the eye chart there, if you didn't notice, says e e e e e e e e k So basically it says e King Kong climbs tall buildings as he makes them. So King Kong's building buildings and also climbing them. That's pretty cool. Looks like Dr. Mummy, the veterinarian, takes good care of the monster pets. Wolfman Jacques gets ready to snip and cut at the barbershop. Very nice. The Spider Brothers are hardworking window cleaners. I bet it's easier to clean windows with eight legs a piece or eight hands because you could wipe down all those windows at the same time. Giant squid serves the best midnight brunch in town. Yeah, look at that squid. Able to pour coffee, serve drinks, give out hamburgers, get in the cook stuff cooking, stir in the food. Wow, pretty impressive. Sometimes I think it would be great to have like six or eight arms. Frank N. Stein is a master electrician, appears shockingly good at his work. So he is obviously a master electrician. So if you need lights, that's your guy. Captain Witch is always happy to fly United Scare Lines. So I guess if you want to take a plane ride somewhere, you take a broom ride on United Scare Lines. That looks amazing. Wish I could fly there. After a busy day in Monster Town, the sun rises and it's time to sleep because you know, it's daytime now. And they all go to bed and it says, good night. Mm. That ends. Wow, that's pretty cool, now we know. And on the back, it's kind of cute. It has a little postcard on the back of the book that says, squish you were here, see you soon. And it's to Mr. I am Bats at 13 Midnight Lane in Monster Town. So somebody sent a postcard to Monster Town telling them they wish they were there. Love it, hope you enjoyed Monster Town. See you guys later, bye. Bye for now.